What does that even mean, Bowers Game? Here, YouTube, I'm back again today for another how to play video, and today I'm gonna teach you how to play Merry Dismas. This is for ages 12 plus. Take it 30 to 90 minutes to play, and it's for ages three plus. Now, I have a four-player game set up, but the first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that every single player has a dry erase marker and a dry erase board that they're going to be able to use. Take all of the green cards and place them in the center or one or two piles where everyone can reach them. Any additional dry erase markers and boards can go back into the box. And then figure out who's going to be the first Dismaster. That'll be the last person who had a holiday drink at Starbucks. So, with that chosen, the game is ready to start. And the Dismaster is going to draw one of the cards from the top of the deck and read it out loud. So what animal or character would you choose to be the family mascot and why? So we'll pretend that this player is the Dismaster. They've read out the question. Now, all the other players who are not the Disc Master this round, are going to write down their best answer on their dry erase board and then put it face down on the table so the Disc Master cannot see it. And then as best you can, without rubbing off the ink by, you know, getting them too close together, mix them up just a little bit and hand them to the Disc Master. Now the answers on these cards can be funny, they can be serious, they can be weird. The main strategy is really to try to play to the judge aka the Dismaster, and what you think they're going to like. Because once everyone is done putting their dry erase card in the center, the Dismaster are going to get them all, and then read them all aloud, and choose whichever one they want to win a card. So let's just pretend that this one made them laugh the most, so they would award this player a card. Then everybody would erase their answers, and the next player clockwise would be the new Dismaster. Now the first player to get 10 of these red cards will win. Now, one house rule you need to make up right now is what happens if two players have the same answer or roughly the same answer. You can either give them both a point, award no points, or hold the tiebreaker, but you decide right now before you start. If both players are awarded a point, that means there can potentially be a tie for 10 points at the end of a round. If that happens, play another round until the tiebreaker is broken, and only one player has 10 points or more. But that's Merry Dismas. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below where in the world I helped you out at. Also, if you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing or supporting the Patreon as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun, and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.